I watch these shows, and a lot of people, they're just so happy to be on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas you can take it or leave it? Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I don't know. There's so many problems in the world and with the people and yeah. the black people and the white people in the whole world and people dying and getting shot and me being one of the few of my kind and being blessed to come on the shows or to get the privilege to make a little money, I just feel so guilty laughing and joking like everything is so rosy while people are hungry and can't find work and out of work and getting put out of apartments and me up here showing my TV and kiki 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 Dick Cavett was the whitest of white guys in America, but he gave blacks that had been considered outside of the mainstream, like Ali, a chance to be heard and a chance to say what they wanted to say, unfiltered, which was rare. I'm serious, you know, this is, stays on my mind every day, you know. You, a certain amount of guilt about being so successful not, no, and so... No, not that, just the freedom and the plight of the people and the scuffle, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, like, this is on my mind, you know, it's just part of my life, more so than boxing in the ring. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just dedicated to it, and I just, just can't go along with society, with the movie stars or Hollywood, you know, and I know what's happening. Ali would have some of the most poignant feelings that of, of black rage that we'd have, but it was couched in a way that it was in people's living room. But at the same time, you could tell that they had some kind of bond and relationship, that they kind of understood each other. But it was significant because of who Cavett was and who Ali was.